Hello out there, all of you breathing, speaking, and most importantly, thinking, intelligent members of the human race. And welcome to Shotgun King, the best thing to happen to chess since thinking was invented. Let's get into it. Best way to describe Shotgun King, it's like a true roguelike. There is no permanent progression, no unlockables. Get in the game, play the game, enjoy the game. You've got an endless mode where you just keep going until you die, and then throne mode where you play, you know, the plot. Let's jump in on normal because I suck at this game and I can't beat it on hard. The Black King had been an extravagant and unpleasant ruler. As the years went by, more and more of his subjects were won over by the White King who offered higher wages and genuinely decent work. And then they took his castle. His knights resigned from his service. Even his wife, the Queen, abandoned him. Before leaving, the last black bishop came to the black king and told him, Thou hast been a bad king, yet thine reign is still holy. Thou shalt retain a claim over thine former subjects' souls, and we may yet have cause to fear thine wrath. Thus heed my warning, the wrath of a man, as godly as might thee be, is ever his undoing. But the black king was abandoned by all. With not a rook left to his name, all he had left was his prized royal shotgun, the shreds of his dignity, and the growing fires of the prophesied wrath. Ever my undoing was it, undone. Just what more exactly could I lose? In his dark folly, the king loaded the shotgun and went to meet his final checkmate. And then the board loads. Boom, 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 boom. The opposition always starts the same. Four pawns, one bishop, one knight, one rook, and the king. And here we are, our king. We can move in any direction, one space in any direction. We are a king. Same rules apply. However, you may notice we have a little aiming radius here. That's right, we have a shotgun. The wiggly pieces on the opposition, they're going to move. So if I move up, all these dudes take a turn. They all move at the same time. I don't want to move here because that's going to put me in check. That's just stupid. Instead, I'm going to move over here. This little knight wants to move. I'm going to take a shot this night. Bang. The spread on my radius means that I, I, you know, I end up hitting other pieces. But you know what? This little knight has made a mistake. How do I want to reload? If I move, I can reload. Or if I want to reload without moving, because right now I want to stay point blank to this bishop, I can click on my gun and get a quick reload. Now, the stats on the left, you will notice it says power four. That's how much damage you'll do if every single shot lands. Shooting point blank... Every single shot pretty much lands. Every single uh, pellet. So four damage, four power. It all makes sense. Range dictates how far I can reach. So this is one space away, two space away, three space away. You're still doing decent damage. At the four and five mark, you'll see it starts to flicker. It's telling you that at the upper ends of your range, you're probably not going to do very well. But I don't care. I'm going to start taking pot shots at these pawns. Bam. Now this rook is going to come down here and try and be a real meanie meanie. Bang. Bang. Move over to here. Every time you move, you'll reload everything that you're currently holding. In addition, bam. If you run out of ammo every second step, I believe, you will start to regenerate ammo even if you run out. So it's not a matter of racing to worry about ammo running out. Also, firing arc is the spread of your gun. Souls. We've inherited a soul. You'll get souls whenever you kill special pieces, anything that's not a pawn or a king. So anything from knights, rooks, bishops, and queens, you can get their soul. And the soul basically just lets you move once you consume it, and you can move in the same way, in the same pattern, that the piece that you've got the soul of would otherwise move in. Now, Crow's Blessing, we get increased to our range. However, Militia, these are the cards. These are what goes left and the right. So the positive card is that we get two range. The negative trade-off that helps benefit the white side is that they add a pawn, and pawns can move and attack in all four directions, which is really dangerous most of the time. Or Elite Gem, ammo regeneration is increased, firing range is increased, Remove a knight, add three pawns, pawns move faster. I'll take that. I'll take that instead. Let the pawns move faster. I don't care. I don't care. Look at all these pawns. Look at them all. Pawns, I say. Feeble. You've boxed in your entire side. What are they going to do? What will they do? They're all going to start moving is what they're going to do. My goodness, look at them all go. Now, my range should have increased just, just, a little, just a little bit. So what if I do this? Ah. I can start making life difficult for them pawns. That's what I can start doing. Uh, uh, out of my face. I'm going to stand still and quick do a quick reload. That rook's going to come down here and put himself in a nasty predicament. Pop over here and get a reload. Blast that pawn. The, the same logic applies for pawns. If the pawn makes it all the way to the bottom end of the board, 
he will evolve and become another piece. Uh, but I'm going to get rid of the king before that can happen. And he's dead. Another crow's blessing and genderqueer. Uh, remove one bishop and add a queen at the start of turn 10. So that would get rid of the only uh, bishop that's on their side right now. However, getting a queen at the start of turn 10 can be annoying. Uh, faithful steed, move one square further per knight soul owned. I have one knight soul, but I'll probably end up using it at some point. Remove two pawns and add a rook. Uh, rooks are super dangerous, dude. You don't need me to tell you that. You know why rooks are dangerous. I'd rather deal with a queen that arrives later in the game. To be honest, that, that arrives later in the in the turn order. Because that just incentivizes me to rush up and use my range to my advantage. Look at that, it's just a king and a rook. What can you dudes do, huh? What can you dudes do? Ugh. Virtually, I'm just gonna take a shot up in this direction, dude. Give me that damage. Give me that, I can't do anything, dude. I can't do anything, I have to move. I have to move backwards now because this stupid rook. Uh. Uh. It's... It's kind of dumb, I will admit. It is very dumb. There's the queen back up. She's arrived. I'm going to move over here. And you know what? Let's just get rid of this rook. Because he is being a bit of a meanie beanie. Now, I'm getting a chance to show you the folly shields. We are in range of the queen and we are in range of the pawn. If you were to make a move, like trying to shoot this pawn, even though, you know, we would die, the folly shields will protect you from suicidal instincts. These refill each turn. So I could make up to two mistakes, and then on the third mistake, well, that's all That's all she wrote, folks. You're done. Now, in this predicament right here, she's got me in effectively a really sticky situation. She has five life. I can't kill her with my four power. I can't go here, here, here. Uh, I could go here if I really want to, but I can't. That's pretty much the only spot I can go in. Um, so I guess we'll go here, but I was going to show off the soul, but I guess we'll save the soul for later. All I have to do is eradicate the king. I can't believe that missed. Uh, reload. Um, we can do two damage. It's going to do the folly thing. However, if I choose to, I can ignore my folly warnings and win. You don't have to listen to the folly shield telling you don't do that action. If you get your checkmate and you kill that king, you go for that kill, dude. You, you don't have to worry about it. You can just do this. Now, floor three from floor three onwards. Every time at floor three, it's going to ask you to take a queen. Homecoming cannot be avoided. You can't escape her. She's everywhere. Uh, Non-knight pieces can't cross the moat in one move. That's pretty good. Cornered despot, however, I get two firepower as long as I'm on the corner of the board. If I'm anywhere on the side, on the edges, the far outside, I get two firepower. So I go up to six. That's pretty handy if you want to try and play risky and stay to the side. They don't want you to be on the side because... That puts you in a bad position that limits your movement but that also gives you big damage so you can blast your way out i kind of like the pieces not moving across the moat but you know what i want to get some cornered despot going because big damage is a lot of fun right so we now have a queen as standard that starts against us i'm gonna start pulling up on the edge here there's our six damage that we get i'm just gonna blast outwards into the ether erase this rook Pull up here. The queen's going to move down and get in my way. I want to just take pot shots out. There's the backup queen. Backup queen has arrived. Why would you arrive there, backup queen? Oh, backup queen is in the worst spot possible. However, we do have a damage of six right now. I could just take a shot. Because, uh... I can't go there. Pawn's in the way. I can go here. Let's try and get rid of this queen. I can't, actually. I'll take a shot. I won't do enough damage because I'm not in the corner anymore. This queen moves down. Ah, just get rid of the queen. Let's try to do some damage to her. Then I move here. Queen's going to pull up next to me, which is a mistake for her. Blast her out of the way. And then take a pot shot at the king. Uh, four damage. I'm going to reload. It's going to tell me not to shoot him. But you know what? I don't care. Die. Woo! Done. Handled. Handled like... Like a handle, dude. I was going to say like a door, but I'm like, don't say like a door. Sacred Crown. You can play an extra turn after using a soul card. Now, this is really handy. However, the red book. Add a bishop. Bishops can now move, not attack orthogonally. That makes bishops a little bit annoying. And we don't have any bishops to worry about, but that's going to add one bishop. I think I can deal with that. However, the taunting hop. Your opposition's king loses one life, and I can now jump over a nearby piece, dealing a damage to it. However... We have Iron Maiden to worry about. Queens move minus two speed, so they go slower, but they can't die. 
that is a problem as long as there are queens that aren't limited in their movement. I take Iron Maiden because there's another option that you can get that reduces their movement to three squares at a time. That makes them a bit more manageable, but them being able to box me in and not die is just really scary. So let's take the Sacred Crown and the Red Book. There should be another bishop on the opposition now. There's our bishop that we have to worry about. He can't attack in all directions, but he can move in all directions. He has to attack diagonally the same way that he always did. So there is that at least. I'm going to start pulling towards the corner. Bam! I should... I, I've got to stop saying the corner. It's not a corner that I'm pulling towards. Uh... No. That's just annoying. Pull down. Thank you, Mr. Bishop, for doing that. Scary. See so you know what we're going to do? I'm going to do a big play. We're going to use our soul. We're going to move over here and move as the knights do. Blast away this bishop because we get an extra turn after using a soul. And now I've got a bishop soul. More importantly than that, I can take a shot at this rook. We're going to get the backup queen. I was going to say, backup queenie has to be here soon. Hmm. It's going to take a shot in the queen's general direction. Die, queen. I really, really want... Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, girl, please don't. Ooh, girl, damn. Blast, six damage. Blast, two damage. Dead. There we go. Dealt with. Having the soul boost uh, from Sacred Crown is really nice for us. Oh, is that what I think it is? The Royal Loafers Strafe Mode. We can now shoot and move at the same time. Remove two pawns and add a rook. That's scary. However, that does nerf the, 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 the frightfulness of having these pawns. Uh, the Rightful Curtsy, however, add one ammo. 50% chance to knock back. Add two bishops at the start of turn 20. That's a long way into the into the fight, to be fair, for a, for a pair of bishops to show up. But the loafers are, are top tier, dude. These loafers are amazing. Let's show you the loafers. So besides just moving and stuff, you can get right clicks. Right click actions are a lot of fun. Less pawns, extra rook. Frightening. Now what we can do is... <laughs> what we can do is start pulling up. And then I'm going to target, for example this king and I'm gonna jump and hop and step to the left so I've right clicked on the king we're targeting him bang we can shoot as we move it's it's just handy dandy dude it's just handy dandy um queen and rook are kind of stuck I don't want to erase these pawns and get this out of the way this bishop's gonna move down probably and just be you know a pain in my rear end let's take another pot shot in this direction there we go uh, he's put me in check. The queen is there to put me in check as well. Not fun, Mr. Bishop. Not fun. You have done a good job of, of moving using your orthogonal movement that you've inherited. And are being a big peeny. Biggy peeny. Now, I can move and shoot at the same time. So, if anything, I want to target the queen with my foot... Wait, actually, yes. My four damage that I can deal... And if I hop, I can't go that way. I shouldn't go. Uh, actually, do I care? I could just go up here and start blasting the king. Like, I really could. Hmm. I still got my sacred crown buff, so I could do that. I could totally... Wait, no, this guy's up here. Ah, oh, I can't do a safe move. Okay, hang on. Let's just do this. It's saying don't do it, but I've got four power. She's right there. What are the odds I die? None. That's right, because I know what I'm doing. Kinda, sorta, not really. Don't, please don't judge me. Um, we can't stay here. I'm in the bishop's sights. Backup queen has arrived. Pot shots at the rook. Target the rook and move here in front of this pawn. Why not? Because of the rook itself? The rook is dead. There we go. Good, good, good. There we go, there we go. It's a thinking man's game. Therefore, I suck at it, naturally. I'm going to move. Ooh, where am I going to move? Where am I going to move? I'm going to pull down here. And then I'm going to... Take a shot at this bishop as I hop down. There we go. That's why the loafers are good. Uh, 
I could use a soul. I can't reload right now. And moving into the... Wait, if I move into the back... I can kill that queen immediately. Um, annoying. Annoying, Miss Queenie. Alright. Problem, aren't you? You're a problem, Miss Queenie. Okay, I'm thinking very hard about how I want to... I really want to steal this queen's soul. Which is probably the darkest thing I've said all day, but still. I'm going to target the queen that's going to move. We move down here. We take a shot at her at the same time. She died? Oh, did it actually give me the six power for moving down here? Because four was my max power, wasn't it? It gave me the six based on where I was going to land? I did not know it would do that. That's news to me, dude. I actually had no idea that you could do that. Oh, dear. All right, target the king, pull back. Bam! Six damage. Shoot him again. Bam! Two damage. He's dead. I had no idea that it would actually give me that damage if that was my intended landing location. That's kind of cool. All right. Majestic sensor. I can get an extra soul slot. Double the souls. Double the fun, dude. Uh, assault. Add a pawn. No, ammo max is pretty good, but adding pawns. And pawns can walk two squares in their first move. Militia pawns are really annoying. Like, really annoying because they can move in any direction now move and attack in any direction now so they've actually become more of a threat thankfully they're effectively just glorified kings in a sense um and i don't have to worry about them as badly as i was as i'm thinking i do but you know it's it's still kind of it's still kind of irritating you know we're gonna move over here we're gonna pull over and now i'm going to move probably forward up here queenie's gonna move out i'm gonna target the queen and take a shot in that direction Take a shot in that direction. Do a sitting reload. Blast at the queen. No one is threatening me except the queen herself. So I blast the queen. I'm in. Check with the bishop. We move out of the way. Okay, the rook's got me in check. But you know what? I can target the bishop and we can blast at the same time. Bam. Back up queen. All right, Miss Queen. You know what we're going to do? We get an extra turn if we use our soul. But before I do... Ooh, this, this Rook's going to become a problem, isn't he? Ah. Rook's going to become an issue. An issue, an issue, an issue. I don't want to deal with this Queen, but she's going to become an issue for me. Double Rook is an issue too. Oof. I, I really just want to get rid of... I could target this... Hang on, we'll target this Pawn. And I jump forward and take a shot at him. No, you, you'll die. What if he doesn't die? Ooh, what if he doesn't die? What if I what if I screw that up and I just I just die instead? Ah. Uh. Alright, you know what we do? We do a big play. I've got six damage on the side. I'm gonna queen over to here. But I get an extra turn. See? Extra turn. I've got six damage, she's got five life. Bang. Die. And we get another queen soul as a result. So what I'm gonna do now is actually pull down here. And then I could Bishop Soul up to here, kill the Rook to take the Rook's. So Wait, no, I can't go there. I can't go there. This Rook's in the way. Damn it, dude! You're all in the way. Stop being in the way. Uh, you know what? Let's. If if the, if he comes straight down, I'm kind of stuck in a bad way. So I need to get out. I actually need to get out of here. Pawns can attack in all directions now, right? Yes. Yeah, so if I move to here, the pawn can threaten me. If I move to here, I'm in check. If I move to here, I'm okay technically. We blast. Sick. Shoot the king. Reload. He's body blocking. I respect it. But it's not going to help. There we go. There we go. I'm having to think too much, man. I'm sorry if the moves are obvious. I'm sorry if the moves are obvious. I'm just being overly cautious, dude. I don't want to die. Uh, the moat. Pieces can't cross the uh, the moat in one move. The castle, though. King's lost position with a rook whenever they would take damage. That's really bad. It quite literally just teleports the king and, the, and, the, and nearby rooks around whenever you try and shoot a king. It means you effectively have to kill all of the rooks before you so much as touch the king. It's really scary. 
Plan next turn when you kill a knight. That's very good. Firing arc gets reduced by 10%. That's good. Add one rook at the start of turn 15, and backups come five turns sooner. Isn't that the backup queen comes five turns sooner? Oh, that's mean. But it's it's definitely the lesser of two evils because the castle is super bad. Okay, the strategy now has changed. The goal itself has changed. The goal now is to use our souls very aggressively to make big moves and kill as quickly as possible. I can't go next to this pawn in any direction. I have to pull down. I have to pull down. Backup queen arrives in a very unfortunate position. I just need to take shots at this king, dude. Alright, king is weak. Look at where they've got me, dude. Look at what they've got me in. Mmm. Mmm. Annoying. So, the entire left side is, is, is currently blocked off by all of these. The right side's... I can't go this way. I can't go that way. I can only really go down into these two spots here. But I really want to... I don't want to move back. I want to just do my Rook Soul, move up to his face, and shoot him. I get my extra turn. I don't care what you say. There we go. I didn't get a, another soul back because I didn't kill another special piece. We've still got our Bishop Soul here, which will help us as much as we can. Aha! The Wand of Downpour. Deal eight damage on a random enemies? Really? Really? Huh. But it adds two knights, one bishop, and one rook. Oh, dude, but all pieces get slower. That's still a lot of pieces, dude. That's a lot of pieces. That's so many... Damn, that's a lot of pieces. But if I kill knights, I get an extra turn. So, I mean, that's that's kind of okay. Uh, the extra barrel, we get one more barrel on, on the front of our gun. Uh, firing arc is increased, though, which is bad. I mean, give me the wand of downpour. So this just does eight damage to random pieces. Ooh, that's a lot of... My god, dude. That's a nightmare. Right, I can kill the knight. And I get an extra turn. I have to reload. He can only just move down here. This little pawn can move down as well. I don't care. Alright, now if I kill the rook... Bishop takes me. The pawn takes me. So we're going to use our soul. And what we can do here that I haven't been doing before is actually double up. We can target the rook and we can use our soul at the same time. And we get an extra turn and we attack while moving. Very, very cool, right? Uh, I'm going to blast him. I want to try the one. Let's use the one now. We've eliminated a few pieces. What happens? Oh, it does eight damage, but spread out. Oh, that's not anywhere near as busted as I was thinking it was. Hmm. Damn, I really thought that was better. Uh, I'm going to move. That pawn's going to get in my way. Let's just move here for now. Queen back up. Good, she's boxed in. That's great. Uh, I'm just going to take a shot up at the king. Do it again, do it again, do it again. Nah, you suck. Hold up. Target him. I can move here. Ah, oh, the spread, the spread, the spread, the spread, the spread. Um, can't move there. Can move here. The king is going to move at the same time. The king's going to move in, in, in path, I reckon. Yes, he did. He's an idiot. I don't care. I don't care. The king's in the way. Die. We're doing it, dude. We're doing it. All of you go. All of you go. Next card. Next card. What do we get? Max ammo. Remove a rook. Add five pawns. Dude, don't add more pawns. The Wand of Gust pushes all enemies northward. Oh, not the castle. Oh, I'm going to have to take the, the, the belt, aren't I? I mean, getting rid of a rook is nice, but five more pawns and they get one extra life? You know what? Do it. Do it. Let's make the board look stupid. Let's just make the board look really, really stupid. Oh my god. 
It's every chess player's nightmare seeing a board this cluttered. Look at it. Look at it. It's 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 gross. I'm gonna soul up to here. Get my extra turn. Because my strategy, quite literally, at this point in time, is to carve a straight line to the king. Queen back up. You would. Pop the wand. Just pop the wand. I, I, it doesn't matter. Just, just... Nice. You killed a piece. Well done. Um... King did take some damage there. He did take damage. Alright, can I kill the knight and get an extra turn? Take the shot without moving. Okay. Uh, take the shot, I guess. Didn't kill him. Not even close, actually. That's a free kill, basically. Yep. Now I have to move. Um... Actually, what I can do here is what we call a gamer move. I'm going to target the queen. I'm going to grab the knight soul. We're going to move over here in way of the pawn, but it doesn't... Oh, it does matter, but not really that badly. Because I want to get this queen soul. I don't care. I get an extra turn afterwards anyway. And then we're going to target straight up through these pawns, I think. Because they're in my way, dude. They're in my way. Let me pull back down here. There we go. Pawns are out of the way. Uh... I kind of just want to reload. Let me just get a quick reload. Fire straight up into him, dude. Just, just get something something going. We need something. Come to the back. He's moving away. He's running scared. Running scared. Put me in check. Thank you, sir. The queen. The queen! I thought it was the king and the queen was behind him. No, I didn't see. I made a rash decision. I've got souls I should have used. I should have just gone up and hit him in the face. No, I goofed so bad, dude. Oh, that's that's an amateur mistake. It's an amateur mistake. I, I saw the pieces and I'm like, yeah, the king's in front of the queen. I, I totally, I, I made a mistake. Uh, I should have used my souls. I get an extra turn after a soul. I should have sold shot at the king. Just like soul my way through, shoot at the king, spend your resources. I was being too greedy. I was saving queen souls for the final fight on stage, on stage 12. There's only 12 stages. We were almost there. In any case, you guys understand Shotgun King. Let me know if you want to see some more of this. I'm going to come back with probably one of the stream runs that I did from on the weekend when I first played this because we got some insanely stupid builds then and uh, it certainly puts what I just did there to shame. Let me know if you want to see more and I can do that. And do go check out Shotgun King. It's out now. It costs basically nothing, dude. It's like... It's like four bucks or whatever. Go enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. If you're a fan of chess, if you're a fan of strategy, if you're a fan of shotguns, go do it. But with all of that said and done, I've got to get out of here. I hope you guys have enjoyed Shotgun King, and I will see you all next time. Have a good one.